What's up you guys? Welcome to Pacific Drive! I don't know much about this game. A lot of people told me to play it because of my excellent driving. So don't pay any attention to trees because they are a natural part of your bumper. We're gonna try this out blind. <laughs> Wish me luck! Okay, we steer with the keyboard. Oh my god. Of course you guys recommend a driving game for me. So this is some kind of survival driving game. Olympic Peninsula, isn't that up in Washington State? Is there a, is there a GPS in here? I know I had a... Uh, I know I had a map. So anyway, I did. the only thing I did was I turned off the radio just in case for copyright. So unfortunately, people were talking about how the music is really good in this, but... Not for me. Can't do it. Toggle wipers. There was a preset called Iron Wagon. I'm like, ooh, that's for me. The Iron Wagon. Ha <laughs> ha! But I didn't put that. We're on we're on Pacific Drive, like the standard setting. Because apparently there is there's radiation damage to the player, there's car damage, there's loot that you gotta get to repair your car. All kinds of crazy stuff, so we'll see what it's all about. I'm just gonna follow the road, see where it takes us. Oh shoot. I tried to hit space to see if it was like a if I could do a slide. No, space bar doesn't do anything. Of course it's raining, it's always raining here. It was really weird when I got this game. It showed like, you know how Steam shows like bundle packages? It showed a bundle with the Long Dark, another another one of my uh, like favorite games. I, I, it didn't say that the developers were the same, but Usually they bundle them because there's some association with it. Maybe it's the publisher? I don't know. Maybe it's the dev and not the publisher. Who knows? But, man, being associated with the long dark? That's crazy survival. No crashes yet. Alright. Is it... So, obviously, we're not in the exclusion zone. Can we drive in the mud? So the exclusion go zone is double walled? At least double walled. You guys stick around, this should be wild. Oh, did you see that? That looked like radiation. Yeah, oh yeah, see that, that glowing? Oh yeah, okay, that's that's probably radiation. Hopefully we can build something that will detect it. There was a mode or something about like invisible Oh shoot, dude, am I going the wrong way? I might be going the wrong way. This it's it's all oh yep, there we go. Now I did it. Getting sucked in. What the deuce? Am I dead already? <laughs> that would that wouldn't be abnormal. Holy cow, dude! This game, it looks pretty cool. I like the premise of it, right? So we're, we're gonna see. It's about eight. It came out about eight months ago. All right, so things are floating in the air. I feel like I'm on the inside of the wall, like it sucked me in. Oh, shoot. I am getting irradiated. Um, I, can I grab things? Okay, my car is in pieces. Probably want to avoid that stuff. I'm guessing linear gameplay.
Okay, my car is in a hundred pieces, it looks like. Or more. Find transportation. Oh, so that car that just exploded into 22 million pieces is not my car. It, it showed in the pictures that it's a like a station wagon. Kick it! Dude, I'm being... Oh, someone out there? Hello? Oh. Huh. What a swan, eh? Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Put the wheel back on. Well, shoot, where's the stinking wheel? Do I have a flashlight? There's the wheel. Pick it up. Install. Did that say summer tire? Oh, yeah. Oh, this is way better. <laughs> Okay. Get to safety. Oh, signal. Yes, it's back. It's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking up your distress signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. Dude, the suspension on this car is not very good. We need some off-road suspension. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a preacher? Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is oh a few God, miles east. Something get there however juicy. you can and be quick about it. <laughs> there was something juicy holding the fuel can in the car. I don't think that's safe. That is a tiny little can. Why is that thing so small? It's like the size of... Oh my god. This is pretty crazy. Alright, head east. Oh, shh! There it is again, that flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that waveform before, but where? Dude, I'm gonna Are die of radiation be? before I even get there. A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. No, no, no. What, what, what we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant, and it's a car this time? Holy cripes! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the breacher needs to get to safety. Then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know. They're back, baby. That probably wasn't good. I need to get to some somewhere safe quick. Over there. Uh, I think my tire just fell off. I think my tire just fell off. It did. Dude. 
Did I? I was absent on lug nut day. Flip the breaker switch. <laughs> Dude, this is uh this is pretty cool. I didn't know what to expect, but pretty cool so far. Okay, so oh, pick up the back. Oh, yeah. the shop. God, it's been breached. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I Oh my head. Uh, the emergency broadcast. <laughs> Put Hello, on the mechanic's uh, eye. Attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We send the preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car and, well, uh, oh. Get off the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials on business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and- Ah, oh, that voice, just like a nail gun to the skull. So. <laughs> Another breacher, huh? Breacher. How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300-meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I just remembered. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Ah. <sighs> Unfortunately, the barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against Holy anyone cow. or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Soft hands? What is she? She didn't even don't talk to me. You don't know me. So you put it in drive to go backward? All right, so we gotta fix up this jalopy. Hopefully there's some parts here at least, cause this thing is, this thing is a poop box. Did the door... Shouldn't we close the door? Add to your to-do list. A crude door. Wait a second. All right. Oh. Okay. So, open the headset. Blueprints. A crude door. So, we need... Scrap metal, or yeah, some kind of scrap plastic duct tape and glass shards. This wary, flimsy piece of oxidized metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. All right, so pin to checklist. Logbook. Car abilities. Certain components and equipment that you will install in your car will have abilities that you need to be activated. It can assign controls up to four of these using the small panel on the left side of your dashboard. Oh, it's like uh, those modern day push buttons. Okay. In car controls. While in the driver's seat, you can steer, brake, reverse, shift between park and drive, and of course, turn the ignition key. You can also toggle the radio, headlights, and windshield wipers. Should all else fail, honk the horn. You can remap these controls. All right, whatever. Back. So gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. What is going on here? Battery charging? Okay. It's a whole new world. Look at that. So over here, there's a big stereo looking thing. 
Oh no, you know what that's yeah it is. It's a jukebox. So See unfortunately, that's the thing about games today. Everyone loves music, right? And game developers can come up with some really good music that fits the games really good, but we can't play them if you're on YouTube. If you're playing them, that's fine. There's some more of that goo stuff in the trash can. Alright, let's look in the trunk. Okay, we need a pry bar from Zeal Toolbox. We're gonna fix this bad boy up and it's gonna look... Well, good. <laughs> Alright, so we need a crowbar. What is this? A mechanics kit and duct tape. I guess we can grab this stuff now, huh? Duct tape. So, do I need to have this on quick assign slot? Okay. What do we got in here? We've got glass shards. We have road flares. Okay. Now, what does that say? Scrappa. So, gather items from the abandoned car. Yep. Search the dumpster by the garage. But can we gather anything else? Oh, we got a tire here. Oh, yeah, yeah. The other thing we said, oh, here's a door. It's the wrong side, but. Well, I can take that thing. Hey, don't throw your crowbar. All right, I'll just follow their orders. Oh, oh. I'm not sure that was safe. What is that? The scrapper. Oh, it's like a saw or something. Oh, essential. Yeah, it is. It's like a saw. Why would that have been in there? So somebody lit that road flare and threw it at me. Now can I scrap scrap the abandoned car's wheels, panels, and doors? Alright. Dude, this thing this thing is totally OSHA safe. There is nothing unsafe about using a tool like this. Got some springs, some coil springs out of it. Oh, there's some fuel in there too, okay. Hopefully there's some storage in the garage where I can store some of this stuff. You don't want to be uh, hauling it around with you. So I guess we're going to have to go out in the zone and do this as well. Hold on, I'm going to I'm going to grab my can. I'm going to siphon this fuel out of here. Got some fresh fuel! Oh yeah. You know what I was just thinking though? A full gas tank explodes. That's not good. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna craft a replacement door, craft a crude door in the shop. Alright, so we got our little workbench over here. Crude door. Alright, we've got all the items needed to craft. 
Okay. I've got a door on me. Right rear door. Place. It's like R to remove. Get the repair putty from the locker. Putty? Dude, we don't need any stinking putty. We need steel. All right, looks like this is a place I can store stuff, so. Is this the repair putty? Yes, it is. What do we have here? A spare tire, a first aid kit, and some chemicals. Okay. Equip the repair putty. Where did it assign it at? Use the repair putty to repair the car. Okay. So this door is at a hundred percent. Oh my god, what the dude? Dude, that's not how you repair a car. Okay. Oh, this panel's in bad shape. Oh, great. So every time I run into something, I'm gonna have to goo the car with this goop. Holy cannoli. Hood is demoed. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Mo, oh, paint job, baby. Okay. Headlight. Am I, can I goo the headlight? Okay. That headlight's good. Bumper's good. No fender here. Can I goo the tire? I think you just, you don't have to hold it, you just smash it on there. Alright, so we're at 96, 97, 98, 99, 100%. Fix the flat tire. Scan the tire. Oh, what the? I just threw my putty down. Oh no. Oh, I can't, can't seem to pick it up. There we go. I guess uh, clicking is not good. All right, I'm gonna, before I chuck the putty on the ground again, I'm gonna put it over there. This tool is pretty damaged already. Anyway, scan was C, right? Okay, repair a flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit, or replace the flat tire with the spare tire found in the locker. Well, do I have a, maybe I don't have a ceiling kit. I have a rubber duck, which usually comes in handy. Maybe I can craft a ceiling kit. Scrapper, pry bar, putty, jumper, ceiling kit. Oh yeah, see? Rubber ducky. I told you, they're super handy. Rubber duckies are really handy to have. Okay, so we're going to repair it. Okay, that just uh, blew up the repair thing, but you know what that was like that? What do they call it, slime or something? There's like slime. It's this weird stuff you put inside the tire. Scan the loose wheel and equip the mechanics kit. Oh yeah, the wheel that keeps falling off. Absent on lug nut day. All right. So, left front, right front, right, right. 5%, 0%, 5%. Equip the mechanics kit. Here is the mechanics kit. We're gonna repair this bad boy. We're gonna. Okay, there goes the mechanics kit. One one use only. So I imagine it did talk about install cardboard boxes in the trunk. It talked about <clears throat> preparing for your missions, right? Warning, hands only. Okay, carrying cardboard boxes. Install craft mat in the trunk.
so you can craft while you're in the field. Oh, <clears throat> there's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. The arc device. I'm guessing that is a welder of some kind. The passenger seat. Yeah, that's usually a good place for an arc welder. Okay. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. All right, so it looks like a GPS, right? It's got a wind meter up there on the right. It's got a gas gauge on the left with a floating ping pong ball. It's got a green light. Interesting. Get first aid a first aid kits from the locker. Okay. There's three of them. Okay. So, store items for your drive in the car trunk. Really? Oh, so the boxes are storage. All right, so it did say store the scrapper. I guess the screws, the crowbar. Let's store everything. Download crafting blue. Pick up the gear blueprint by the front of the garage. Okay, so we got a blueprint. Hey, we can make a gear now. Pick up the impact hammer. Impact hammer. Oh, everybody needs an impact hammer in their life. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Oh, look at that. I actually have fuel. Nice. Okay. Throw the switch to charge the battery. Dude. I like this step by step. Someone needs help. If uh -oh. you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. What wall? <laughs> this wall. Okay, route planner. This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does, constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay, so, look, we've got a fuel thingy over here, a dark zone here. We've got fuel thingy here. Looks like some kind of swamp. Looks like some rabbits coming out of the ground. And then we got this. Junction conditions unknown. Three hours. Damp forest. Unknown. Select destination. Toggle destination. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. 4.40 p.m. I'm not sure the time of day matters in this game. Oh, I guess it is a little lighter out there. Okay, manual, drive preparation, logbook. All right. In-car controls. Drive prep. Once you've selected your route, make sure to prepare for the drive. Pack tools, 
backup supplies and parts you'll need, head out from the garage. And be careful on your journey. The car has emergency protocol that will save your life, but very little else. The auto shop. The auto shop is your base of operations. You're safe there, so you can take your time between drives to fix up your car, craft parts, and research new upgrades. Okay. That sounds good. So we've got the arc device, riding shotgun with us, all road flares. Road flares, light source, powerful potassium based incendiary. Okay, so it's nothing special. It is a light. All right, duct tape, yeah, scrap metal, rubber, plastic, glass shards. Kind of, kind of know all that stuff. While on foot, you can walk, run, crouch, and jump. You can also pick up, drop, throw, and kick items. Certain items come across. You should come across any buttons and keypads. Feel free to press away. <laughs> you got to push any button that you see. You can remap these controls in the options menu. Okay. And then plastic car door tools. Okay. Not every natural resource can be carefully extracted. Sometimes you need some pneumatic assistance. Brute force. This captive bolt device is ideal for fracturing crystals, dislodging deposits, or just smashing faces. Well, I like that. Car maintenance. Fuel. We got the fuel can. We know about that. Battery jumper. Ramshackle, but effective. Carefully connect this single-use device to any failing... Okay, so it's a... A lot of single-use devices in the in the tool section. So, a summer tire. Yeah, we know about summer tires. We got spare tire. Conventionally, no. I imagine we probably have to get like a bumper or something to mount this bad boy on. Eventually, utilities. Okay, so the craft mat. So we can make basic stuff in the field. The arc dock, administrative plan, relief, first aid. Okay, we don't have an arc dock yet. Handbrake. With one swift tug of the lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels, convert your momentum into a skid, and even impress any anomalies that are watching. Yeah, that's my goal. In Britain, they call this area the boot of the car. But they didn't win the War of Independence, did they? Now, over 300 million Americans are free to call it the back storage of their automobile. Whatever they like. How's that for humor? Uh, it's not really that funny. It's called a trunk. Refine. Okay, gears. What has teeth and a bite but no jaw? Probably a lot of things. Actually, this gear is one of them. Okay. Mechanic's eye. So that's the thing I scan with. So using it to scan objects will provide you with more information about the zone. It's mechanics eye diagnostic tool will tell you everything you need to know about the car's status. Small backpack. I guess as we discover, maybe there's bigger backpacks. I'm just clearing up these dots. Flat. You blew it. Truly anomalous of conditions that can befall a wheel, a gaping hole in the precious, precious rubber. Fortunately, remarkable advances in tire patching technology mean this can be repaired in no time at all. Alternatively, a spare does wonders for continued mobility. And did you, you packed one, right? No, I don't. I don't have a spare. Loose wheel. We already did the loose wheel. Essential. Sometimes the dumpster knows best. The friendly dumpster wouldn't be your best pal in all of the zones if it wasn't handing out all the things you think you really, really need. Things definitely, certainly should keep in order safely and make a good journey. Best pal. Okay, so we're best friends with a dumpster. Charging station, workbench, first aid station, fuel pump. In the, If it's in the zone, it's going for it. It's gasoline here is for free. So the Numa tube. Also known as tubes, span the zone, a low-tech, low-maintenance method of communicating. Okay, so friendly dumpster, if you're ever in dire need, pay this a visit as much as the zone takes away. Sometimes she also provides. Parking sensor, spatial recognition, pattern communication, light array, whatever. Route planning, keep track of different routes using this map along information how safe or dangerous it is. Car packed to capacity with clattering clutter, off-road, 
Offload and organize your stuff in the locker. Okay. I think we got everything. Interesting. So this route. Three hours. Uh. Oh. Okay. I guess it's this way? So, th is this... The back of the garage? The front of the garage? Off-road? Where's that spare tire at? I wonder if I can put it in here. Wait, there was... Where did it say there was a spare tire at? I thought it said use the spare tire. There it is. What is this? Chemicals. Repair putty. I don't know. Do you think I need repair putty in the car? Maybe I'll take all this stuff now. All right. You never know. I, Dude, is all this stuff going to fall out? Yeah, I definitely need a rear bumper. So we're not going this way. I thought that was going to be the route, but it looks like it's forward. I wonder what's in this other room in here. So I guess I don't need to close the doors. I figured I needed to, to close them to be safe. Do I need to do anything with these batteries? No, the batteries actually charged up the map, didn't they? Alright, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Now here is our controls for stuff. We've got new gizmos in here. We've got no armor. And we're missing a trunk and a rear quarter panel and a front fender. And then here's our little map. So I'm here. There's the edge of the zone. And I'm going this way, I guess. Great. It's one of it's it's one of those maps that you have to look at it upside. Did the car not start? Left. Oh, there's a thing showing me where to go. Nice. You really shouldn't be looking away from the windshield over this map when you're driving. Is this something? Uh-oh. What was that? Junction unknown. Am I still going here? Oh, it... Okay, so... I guess it... Hmm. I thought we'd be driving the whole way. Keep your hands on the wheel. Okay, radio station, residential, damp forest, outer zone, perpetual stability. Okay, newbie. I'll keep this simple. You don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. Why did everything just turn red? Looks like a little kind of trailer park village up here. So Your must... device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay. Let's let's go ahead and get out. Wow, the weather's awesome. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands though. An impact hammer will do the trick. All right. Tell me I brought my impact hammer. Oh wait, you know what? I only got the blueprint for the impact hammer. I never made it. Oh, 
find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Okay, so I'm gonna need probably this guy. the zone all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. What's that noise? Oh, shoot. Should I go inside? Close the stinking door, dude! Backpack. Is that bigger? Oh, it just got supplies in it. Nine volt battery in that. Okay. I was trying to grind the backpack up. Pressurized. We need plasma. Gas cylinder. Chemicals, chemicals. Collect materials and craft recommended parts. Consumer electronics. Rubber duckies. Nothing like taking a power saw to your computer. A little trash. We're on the loot train, baby. some decent loot here. Hey, uh, uh, driver. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. Well, can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything Without critical to your ears. immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. Leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. All right, we got an impact camera. I'm guessing the scrapper. Oh, it doesn't take much really to. Yeah, I guess you don't repair it. You. Uh, you make another one. Pneumatic impact hammer. Smash plasma generators for materials. One of five plasma. 
Replace parts. Recommended collect materials and craft replacement parts. Maybe I can repair it. Hand vac. We need a hand vac for that. Alright, so... I think that they probably want me to replace parts on that one thingy. <clears throat> so... This is a tool. This is all. We got tools. So we haven't found the blueprint for it yet. Repair putty, ceiling kit. What do I need? Oh, more rubber duckies. Mechanics kit. Gears. Utilities. Carbureted engine. Battery. Fuel. Crude headlight. Spare tire. Crude bumper. Ooh. Why does it take rubber duckies to make a bumper? I thought it said re craft repair parts, did it not? It says recommended collect materials and craft replacement parts. Maybe I need a blueprint for that? Logbook, car dashboard, yeah, 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 yeah. Your car is your shield. Crafting. Consumer electronic. These are all the kind of the stuff I just picked up. Perpetual stability. The instability storm will not be chasing you here unless summoned. Okay. Nine volt battery. This is again stuff that I just picked up probably. Alright. I don't know what the deal with the replacement parts is. We gotta find another thingy. So I don't know how to get in there yet. That thing is broken. Is there any plasma in there? There's a little fuel in there. Definitely need to fix this thing. That thing is walled off. That's not good. Dang, that hammer's big. What are these things? Oh, plastic. I thought they were like drinks. What is that thing? SRR meeting minutes. Okay. Oh, look at that. I got a note. The meeting minutes. I guess it wants me to drive on, right? Can I actually... No scanny. Copper wire. Hey, maybe I can fix that thing with some copper wire. There's a backpack in there. I can't reach it from here. Oh, there's a toolbox up there too, dang it. Oh, don't go that way. There's not even a gate on this place. Why you no gate? I want to get in here. But it's locked. <laughs> Fixed. Lock, fix, electrician's kit. Oh, I figured that. Door. It's just a door somehow poorly sealed. Merely chava. Canned food. Oh, quick slots survive. Man, they just pop up a bunch, bunch of stuff, don't they? Wrecked car. This is the stuff I scanned. So a lock, broken keypad. There has to be some way to open this. Doesn't mean you need a key. Many simple locks can be forced through. Okay, so 
I don't know if I have that blueprint yet. Undiscovered. There's the minutes right there. Minutes meeting agenda celebrate. Look forward. To, I want to see if these are like anything that's going to give me blueprints or tea cake testing. Mm. Yeah. How do you go back from there? Inventory. Escape. Wow, they didn't want to get me out of there. Now, I guess, I guess I could go back and forth from here. Like, back to the garage. Really want to get in that room. Blueprints. So, it was electrician's kit, right? Repair putty, battery jumper. They're not in alphabetical order. Man, I just need to find more stuff first, I guess. I need more blueprints. And I need to be able to repair this stupid thing. Alright, let's uh, move ahead a little bit here. like there's a number of houses or something up here. Oh, shoot! What is that thing? Shoot, dude. They didn't say anything about this? No! Dude, that's like a, a scrapping machine or something. What is this, the Matrix? They didn't say avoid those things. Dude, what the deuce was that thing? I guess you gotta get up and bust this thing before it shocks you to death. Oh my goodness, look at those places. Okay. Give me the goods. Okay, that one's in shock mode. Go, 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 go. No, 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 no. Hey no, do it. Oh my god. Do not delay next time. The shock towers. Okay, so that looks like an area that maybe we're going to go to in the future. Because it's blocked off right now, and the road actually hugs back that way. But I want to know who was that dude who. He sent down like. He sent down like one of them uh, grappling hooks on me. The magnetic things at the junkyards. What was beeping? Don't beep at me. Turn off the wipers. There. Alright, moving forward. I'm <laughs> just looking at the <coughs> dashboard lights. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Alright, I don't know what that thing is. Am I supposed to scan it? Ah. If you go to scan in the car, you turn on the wipers. if that thing could take my car away. Wow, there's a number of those. 
things around here. So we're here, at where we came in, there is, I need to go to that place. Dude, that thing's gonna suck me away, there's nothing here. How far away is this place? I probably should have brought the car. Fuel barrel. Fuel can. Wow, it's full. Should have drove the car up here. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill somewhere. I'm gonna fill up, aren't I? said look up on the hill somewhere for antenna parts. You know I didn't look and see if there was a take all. Transfer, quick assign, drop, transfer, equip, rearrange, close. Asmac cabinet. Pry bar. Pry bar's in the stinking car, dude. The pry bar's in the car! Such an idiot. Okay, we've got the plasma stuff. She said locate the radio station, should be up on a hill. Why didn't I bring my car over here? There's a hill here. Could be up there. This looks like an uh, antenna of some kind. Okay, there's some kind of weird anomaly over there. got to be it, right? Oh, well, let me guess. Pry bar needed. Oh my god. Anchor plug. Alright. I'm, I'm guessing this is... What, was that light on before? There's some really crazy noises. There's no door to this place. Maybe there's explosives. Got our crowbar. Let's put that on the old number four. Or number two. I'm gonna go back up this hill to see if this is the radio tower. If not, I'm gonna have to get back in the car and drive over past that station. 
because there was something over there with lights. was it let's see what that um what, what did they call that thing back at the helm no they called it the anchor plug standardizing and replacing all of the anchor mounts infrastructure these new mounts should be far more durable steadfast against weather atmospheric changes corrosion resistance Lengthy, difficult process marred by endless delays. It doesn't say what it does. As usual, I'll be complying, complying, complaining. Recommended tool, hands. Hands, okay, so. Maybe I can do something with it? I'm not supposed to do that. Oh! Oh! Did I lose the thingy? Can I put it back on here? No. I don't think I'm supposed to take this thing. Uh oh. Uh oh. I think we gotta go over there. I don't think I was supposed to, oh, that dude's right there. I don't think I was supposed to take this. Is that like a stability anchor? No mass anomalies? Oh no, I've destabilized the area, I think. Can I put this in the car? Open the stupid door. take this up to that other place. Health set 74. Is this thing killing me? You guys are probably like, dude, why are you running with that in your hand? It's killing you. I'm just thinking I need to move it somewhere. But it's definitely hurting me. Because I've been running around for a while and I definitely haven't been getting losing health like this. Six to full. I think I put all my first aid kits back there too. This. What? This is not it. To do. Screw this thing. Throw it. Drop it. Yeah, that thing is definitely hurting me. Yeah, it's got it's radiation. gonna put it there so that light I saw I think that was that transfer point that I came into this region I'm guessing I should be in my dang car dudes and I just didn't know what to do with that thing why did I pick it up
the radio station's probably at the end of the little cul-de-sac road here that I'm on. Look, at least when I'm away from my car, it's not getting thrown up into the air. Close that. That thing really likes to jump up there. All right, so. Keep all this stuff and I need hold for first aid. How do you Oh, use like this. Okay. Ooh, heal juice. Healing. Let's take a look at this thing here. There it is, right there. So I got to get on the road. Yeah, I ran up to this. I gotta get on the road and go down and then up here. Great. These things are gonna try and blow me up. Suck my car off the road. Lift giant things up in the pathway. Oh, that's a tree. There goes the fender. That's right, I didn't have a stations up on a hill. I didn't have a fender there anyway. Eyes to the horizon. Dude, I tried to avoid that anomaly looking thing. Why did I grab this thing here in the road? It's probably a dumb idea. Right, we got a little ways to go. Looks like three houses before we get there. And that dude. It's a gas station. He's scanning for stuff. Oh shoot, that thing's got Big Dan's anomaly, dude. big time yeah I get it radiation okay okay we're not going over there we're not going over that I saw the toolbox I wanted the toolbox another thingy over there another trailer it's like a fuel can all right maybe this little road here to the right is that a road Nope, still straight. Thought it might be that. A lot of cars, probably for scrap. I gotta figure out a way to repair that saw if I don't have to make a new one. But it didn't look like the uh, like the parts to make a new one were that complex. Thing is, I gotta drive back out of here. You know me, I just wanna drive off this hill straight down and take the shortcut. Well, these tires are not off road tires. I shouldn't be running over rocks. Okay, we've made it to the station. Now, collect parts from the station and antenna, including the broadcast transmitter. Rubber duckies for days. There's a button here. We should push it. Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. 
But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't oh. you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Now we know what the anchor's for. Okay, recommended collect craft. Uh, use the arc device. Return to the auto shop. Wait, was it just this button that we needed from here? No. Was it the button we needed? Oh, I see. You can s keep things in your hands by scrolling off of it. I looted the trash can. It's saying, return to the auto shop, use the arc device on the map, locate to see an anchor site, see map, replacement parts, recommend to collect materials and craft replacement parts. Was this really all I needed was the buto? Seems like it. Broadcast transmitter. Oh, they're calling it the broadcast transmitter. All right, we know where that one arc transmitter is. It's down in the down in the middle of the road. So this thing is saying that there is one here, one here, and one there. These are all down the road. I said I can't go back the way I came from. I should be able to go back down this road though, right? Dude, I can't wait to be able to fix up my ride. Better armor, faster, more loot storage. Maybe a roof rack with some tool storage. That would be awesome. So we feed that thing to the my little passenger thingy here. So that's cool. We'll be sitting next to radiation. Now, here we are here. How far over is that? It's possible that... It didn't look like I could drive down the road anymore. So I'm thinking I may need to hoof it over there. But what do I do with this? Can I put this in here? You can't. You can Okay. Look at this dude. Tourist. There's more fuel kind of just laying around in the fields. Hopefully it's not that far over here. Maybe this is my exit now. Anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Recently. Recently. Get out of the way, you stupid door. Ooh, upgrade. Recalculating. Collect anchors until the arc device is fully charged. Oh my god, I gotta get them all. No! Oh boy. Okay. I gotta get them all. But why is it saying there's another one over there? It's showing there's another one over there. Alright, screw it. I'm... I'm driving down there. It almost looked like that was another exit, though, you know? If I go down to the road... 
Oh, that one's back. Oh, this is the road here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you do have to hoof it over to those things, because look, that was the road down there. So this thing is saying that there's one right there. That I just got that one. We're gonna try it. Oh no, it's it's a wow, well, it's a different spot. Each time I'm hauling, the, see this here is blocked right there, but there's a one of those uh, traveling exits there. If that one gave us 0.4, we need one. We probably need to collect that other one that I left on the road back there. She said, don't worry, none have blown up in anyone's face recently. I'm like running around with a little nuclear power source. Oh, they don't like it when I grab them either. I'm thinking being an anchor that maybe it's trying to stabilize the ground. Who knows? Two point four. Ooh, that one was full. The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage, but it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. Okay. Remove that. I don't understand what these are. Link gateway. That's like way off the road. I want to get out of here. I'm going to place a marker here. Where is that? It's down there. Am I really supposed to try and drive down there? You would think that you'd want to uh, be close to it before you link it. Select gateway coordinates on the map. Maybe, maybe, uh, all right, let's do this. Shoot, I knew it. See that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Shoot, I'm just going this way. Screw it. There's no road leading to this gate. Oh my god, I need some suspension work. There's another one of those plasma thingies. I think I got just enough plasma. I probably should have got some more, but this is my first adventure into the weirdness. Ooh, okay, well, I guess we're gonna do this. Oh, this isn't safe. This isn't safe. What the actual deuce? Stable, unstable. We haven't oh, even well, well. went in unstable and corrupted You're areas, apparently. Alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. 
Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But oh. it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. Did and just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick Break you'll get whiplash. Break open the back room doors with an impact camera. Are we clear? Assemble an antenna with the fabrication tape. Did she say I need to bring back as many as the, of those anchors as possible? That ain't good. Oh, look, it's like a... A tree. It's like a tree. I see. Okay. All right. Well, we, we got to grab the parts to bring it in here. What I got here? A handbrake, a crude panel, a crude bumper. Oh, she has some parts in here. Dude, those parts are big. They're so big. Like, if they're too big for your backpack, I guess they only go in your hands. Can I put this on? Why can't I put this on? I need a bumper! Oh my god. Oh my god. Fine. There we go. Alright. We've gone long enough, I think. We've made our first mission. Now our mission is to make this car better. So in the next episode, we're gonna... We'll keep following along, we'll assemble this thing, and I'm sure it's going to give us, like, the ability to start upgrading the car or something. So, if you guys enjoyed that, leave a comment down below, hit the like button. Join me next episode! Thanks for watching.